Brainstorming is done. Now what do you do? Let's jump right into the video and talk about it. Hello dreamers, thank you for joining me today on my channel. I am Cynthia Owens and I'm an author and certified life coach. This channel is a place for me to share what I've learned on my most recent healing journey. If you are new here, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new content. And if you are not new here, I want to thank you for returning. It means the world to me. In the last video, we talked about one of the brainstorming techniques that I use with my clients. Did you give it a try? How did it go for you? Drop me a comment and tell me about it. You may notice that I've been making some changes to my set. I will tell you more about all of that at the end of this video. So stick around to hear about all that is planned for the near future. Now let's address what to do with that short list that you've made using the brainstorming technique that we've tried last week. What does your list include? Do you need supplies in order to accomplish any of these things? Are there some classes involved to get you where you want to be? When you consider each of the things that the items on your short list might require, does one dream stand out to you? If so, then it sounds like you've discovered which dream you are going to follow. So we'll come back to you in just a moment. For those of you that are still uncertain, can you shorten the short list even further? Are there two things that are standing out to you? Does anything seem a bit too large to try right now? Remember, just because you remove something from your short list now doesn't mean you can't put it back later. When making a choice is very difficult, sometimes it relieves the pressure to select two things instead of just one. Maybe they go together. Maybe they are opposite of each other. Choosing between two things can be difficult because you're equally passionate about them. And in that case, I suggest trying them both. Now that we have a dream selected that you can follow, what is it that that dream entails? Okay, now that everyone is on the same page again, and you have your dream selected and have considered some of the things that go into following that path, it's time to follow your dream. Drop me a comment and let me know which dream you're chasing. Now that it's time to set out to follow your dream, how do you add it into your life? What provisions do you need to make in order for your dream to become a reality? Some dreams, like getting back into art, would require going to the store and buying some supplies and maybe taking a class or two. Dreams like finishing school so you can get your dream job will require you to look into classes and schools. Now that you have selected your path and have figured out some of what you need in order to make this dream a reality, it is time to make space in your life for this new activity. How much time can you spend each day, each week, or each month? The goal here is not necessarily to jump in with both feet and become fully immersed in this new activity. It is simply to find ways to add it back into your life so that it becomes a part of your life. You can start out slowly and do an hour a day or even just an hour a week as long as you start. Speaking of getting started, I have mentioned before that I had started a business with one of my best friends. Well, now we are starting a podcast. We are so excited about it. It is a raw look at our business and our lives and the things that we struggle with being neurodivergent and trying to help other neurodivergent people. And sometimes helping our clients helps us. So stay tuned for updates on the release of our new podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to check out the description for links to my book and to my blog. Remember to join me each week and together we will discover your dreams. Mm -hmm.